the following is a fundamental and technical analysis on the New York Times, a company of the consumer cyclical sector in publishing based upon the monthly interval, the much larger picture to the entire landscape here, where we had a Gallup poll released today with some of the dwindling competence in mainstream narrative reporting, where the scene completely unfolded with the revelation of a storm brewing at the highest levels within the political arena. Kamala Harris, once heralded as a rising star, now stands accused of plagiarizing entire sections of her book on crime, where this wasn't just any accusation, where it was unearthed by a legendary Austrian plagiarism hunter and Dr. Steven Weber, where their findings shook the foundations of the narrative. Well, the story didn't end there, where in a stunning twist, the New York Times, eager to shield their favorite figure, twisted the truth, where they downplayed the allegations, casting them as a mere political attacks from conservatives. Yet, Behind the scenes, they concealed critical details from their expert, Jonathan Bailey, where when Bailey was finally shown the full dossier, the extent of Harris's plagiarism became clear, more serious than anyone had first imagined, or even with this revelation, Bailey hesitated to call it malicious fraud, but just sloppy habits. But to the observers and the traders on Wall Street, the truth was glaring, but well, the plagiarism was worse than reported, and the deception by those meant to report the truth ran even deeper, where in the shadows, Chris Rufo stood, imploring the New York Times to face the facts they refused to confront, where the stakes were higher than mere words on paper. It was a battle over the integrity of those in power, and within the technical round, we may be sitting at the beginning stages of a triple top, major reactionary high, monthly high, upon zooming into the weekly, once again, a potential a triple chop, triple top reactionary high point. We have multiple major reactionary highs that have thus been rejected on a mere three or four weeks in a row there. And that is a critical price resistance level zooming into the daily interval. And we have a slight potential undercut of the 50 day moving average with a huge volume at price indication around this range, gearing up as traders, long, huge longs built around this division with the vast majority of the masses have bought around the $55 range, mainly in hope for an inverse head and shoulder, classic looking bottom scenario and a move to the upside. The question now remains, will the bears on wall street, Grab the New York Times by the throat on an undercut, big break, solid infused red candle close breakdown sell signal. Below the 50-day moving average and an undercut of a primary reactionary uptrend line with major reactionary lows really across that entire sphere off the mid-April reactionary lows here off a rising bearish wedge pattern with big time negative and bearish divergences really constructing on all four key technical momentum indicators with a huge sell spike, volume sell spike down below. We have volume beginning to dry out as well. Short sellers, bear traders want to see an additional continuation on a red solid infused candle, big breakdown, candle close. Well, the next price support level will be around the 54, 49 range. And I will add that around that key price support level. That will be gearing up as the next potential big breakdown sell signal on an undercut on a violent fury of selling. Down to the first target at 52.30 price support for a 5% crash. A revisit of that redefined gap support down to the T2 target of 49.57, which will be in confluence of its 200 day moving average for close to a double digit correction, which will be a nice, healthy 10% crash of the downside on an undercut of the 249.57 price support level. You will have an additional 13.2% crash. Things get real bad to the 46.38 level for 15.7% crash, ultimately down to the 44.67 level. For a near 20% crash move to the downside, ultimately undercutting, and which would result in a potential death cross, bearish continuation, moving average inflection point. As I said, once again, in the end, where this really wasn't just about plagiarism, but it was about truth and the crumbling pillars of power built on deception, where well, the reckoning may be delayed, but if and when it comes, it will be swift and unforgiving and an all-out rush towards the emergency exits.